uh, Chinese painting and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a uh, a bird a simple bird okay uh, with a willow and I usually uh, start with the beak of the flowers of the birds and then this is where it's going to rest right here uh, and I will start with a beak so I use a full strength of uh, ink very dry brush so I usually test it make sure that there's no water on the on this part of the brush and then I test it too to make sure the line is sharp and punching all right so I'm going to start and the bird is going to rest, uh, it doesn't matter, center is fine. So I start with, this, uh, start with the center line, a little bit short. It's not strong enough, but that's okay. So I'm sharpening my points. And I like the point, the, the tips slightly heavy. So slower at the beginning, you can just put a little one and then gradually just slightly up and this is the the bottom so it recess a little bit here and the eye is slightly above the center line so it's right here and i prefer not to do it too perfect wrong and so this is the black part of it and we'll put a little white in the middle and that should be okay almost wrong but it's not perfect wrong and then this is the top of the eyes a little bit wrinkle around that's enough uh, and then I'm taking another brush soft brush and I'm gonna do a red headed uh, bird so it's, it's semi wet and I'm using a little bit of orange first orange first and then I use uh, carmine red pure red on the tips and I can test it again too, just to see if I have the color change gradually, which is nice. I mean, sometimes I can even introduce a little bit yellow at the, I forgot to do it, but so I got three colors very nicely and I just have in that one. So all you have to do is put the tips on the top of the, uh, the head, the, the head right here and pressed and you get you get nice color and a little bit bump at the, t the top here is always very cute and that's the head and then I can graduate change to the front the cheek a little bit on the cheek so that's pretty good and now we're gonna do a little bit of blue yellow this, this time I have some yellow and I go to some blue so the belly is gonna be yellow so all you have to do is so this is the belly I'm gonna just press I'm gonna just show a little bit I'm just so this is where my belly is little close up all right so all I have to do is use this and then pressed zigzag pressed and go in here and I got some yellow on this side so I just twist my brush so I can get more yellow out of that so that's the belly and if this is too dirty this is very wet, so it's be careful. I might just do just pure, pure yellow, just to. This is a fat bird, but that's okay. So give me more color to it. So I'm happy with that. I can, I can touch a little bit of yellow here, so increase my yellow. Okay, try to do as little stroke as possible. So that's the body. I'm happy with it. Uh, so all we need is the wing and the tail. Simple stroke if possible.
one egg two sorry too much sorry okay stop and then i can have another one here so you got two tail two wing and then the tail is tip up so all you have to do is same thing use the brush uh, drag it push down and drag so it has a nice finish here and this is a this is a press down and this is straight up just to have a little bit of oh, I think I'm happy with that so that's the bird and if I need to I can take a really light and I can just give a, a definition very gentle of the bottom and then you can give a little bit ink here as well and I can just draw a few single line a hint it of some kind of feather and that should be it now all we we'll do is let me just do the beak beak should be you should wait until it's completely dry and all you have to do is take a yellow maybe a little bit diff two, two different yellow and then tips just a little bit red on the tips and all you have to do is press down point at the um, So very heavy color. It has cannot. I like it's a strong heavy color. So all you have to do is put the tips at the beak, the tip of the beak, and press down or, or drag a little bit. And I, I don't see enough the color in the front. You can just come in, add a little bit, and then reverse, and that's pretty good. And the eyes can be because this is yeah a uh, red red bird so i'm going to use more yellow around it and just the tips of a darker color blue on the edge and that should be i have some yellow so i can use the yellow okay be careful with it okay good and this is the ink i believe so i can just get a little bit something here some kind of feather and that should be it. good. So that's a close up of the birds. Let me just lift it up to show. That's a pretty, pretty colorful birds, right? You can see the birds here. All right, so all we have to do is, I see that the, the yellow is covered some of my center line. You should wait until it's completely dry or, or almost dry. And then you can just draw a line here. So bring, bring the line better okay so now we're gonna do the branches I I will do the branch first so I'm gonna use a branch that's close to the body and that should be a good branch and close over there's enough So it's heavier here and then skinnier. Okay, that should be good. pretty easy. All right, so for the, for the feet, most people tend to, I'm using deep blue. Maybe I add a little burnt sienna or a little bit ink or blue. The reason I'm using a heavier red is some of them do have it very heavy red, uh, dark red feet. So the feet, most of you will tend to put it too much on the back. So I like it here, not red enough. So it has, so it holds onto the, the bark of the tree. And this one is going backwards and then come back here. So, the same thing. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, we can 
get it closer too. So the feet is kind of angle, kind of angle, hooked. It's like a hook. You can have a little dots, so little dots. Okay, so that's the birch. And I think that's pretty much what we can do here. We probably can do, just say, I'm gonna do a few uh, stroke of the, of the uh, willow. So I take another, a little bit yellow, take a little bit of blue. There are two color, two blue here. And just wet enough. It's like a, too dry. So, so this is my willow. I don't like to put them on top of, on the side of a branch, a little branch. I think that's very uh, flat. So I'm creating the linear feeling of that branch and it's hinted. So this variation of the green. So I basically use two color and then this is, this is the willow that's blowing in the wind. So it's, it's, if you just do the brush to one direction, you can see the wind is blowing, but just make sure you have a couple of them are sideways. And that should be enough. And then I'm just going to do it very quickly. It was here, bigger branch, bigger uh, leaves. Maybe a couple of them here. So kind of hit or miss rather than um, on the side of the branch. Because there's a lot of layer going on. Leave some space here. So they create a linear feeling of it. I can just use a little bit of ink and just a little dot. If you choose to get a little connector between them, that's okay too. But don't. Don't do it so precise, otherwise it, your painting become very flat too. So it's kind of hinted there's something there and they are, okay, let me just do a few of the darker color. Oh, I need it. Just a little bit dots here, those are new grown. If I'm gonna draw lines, I'm purposely hit or miss. So they're not connecting 100%. Okay, so I think that's the, that's the painting. Just get a little bit of blue here and then we can certainly do a little bit of this. And all we need to do is a Y. I'm doing a single handed. I might. I'm doing a Y dots in my eyes right here. Uh, off center, oh, obviously. I think that's pretty good. I have a little Y here, so I might as well use it. I don't like to waste. Okay, so that's done. And I just sign my name here. Twenty twenty. Okay. Voila.